There's a star here. Ah. So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> you're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius' orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. <sighs> it was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps... This is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep, I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister, and Selica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. That's funny because we still have the uh, darkness potion on. Velvet. Maybe. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but. Stay back. <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or lord of calamity, it doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Laffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart. I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no. Because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But if I kill Inominat, Lafayette, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all...
A compass. Hmm. How is he much? Eisen! Why the hell didn't you say something? <laughs> Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? <laughs> I'm going. I've got to stop him. What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgame. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a <laughs> calamity, but I'm frugal. So, expedition. Uh... Show them how Ifrid's crew yeah. can sail. So, Curse I'm gonna go back inside and see if there's a skit. I'd notice sooner. Next weekend is Bunny Bonanza Saturday. Bunny Bonanza Bunny. Saturday? What's that? I've heard of this. You eat a hearty, healthy meal of rabbit meat to help you get nice and strong. You eat rabbits? No, silly. The night of the third Saturday of every month, lonely people go to sleep hugging a rabbit. Huh. If you go to sleep with a fuzzy friend in your arms, you're sure to have good dreams. No, well, I'm sure I heard that you eat them, too. You must be thinking of Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. There's a Saturday for Rat Pigs, too? <laughs> yep. On the night of the third Saturday of every month, people who aren't lonely eat Rat Pigs to get nice and strong. Makes sense. Rat Pigs are great sources of nutrition. An amazing choice for anyone, lonely or not. The secret to a happy family is Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel bad for the rat pigs. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's a skit Prince here. Prince Percival safely made it back to the capital. The Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead. Along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. The Abbey's propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe! Hurrah! Hold up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renit saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renit. So that story sounds plausible, at least. It does. And here I thought I was safe. So where did the Lord of Calamity go? <sighs> the Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go ahead. Talk all you like. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Finally got ready. Damn. Glasses. So go jacketless. Put her back in her bewitcher clothes. Huh. Battle music garb. Ah, changing this will choose change the battle theme. Okay.
Does he have any? Ah, just the... Just the wind stuff. Uh, Mogulu, what are you gonna wear? <laughs> there you go. Let's see over here now. I saw an Abbey ship heading toward the Sea of No Return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead. And monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, Hence the name I heard sea a ship of no from return. some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? Hmm. <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but... Again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away, so something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, that poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. Hmm. Can we go in here? Is there a skit? No, this is just the building. What game do we have now? The... Here I come. Oh, okay, this one. Anything else we can buy? Hmm. Okay, so this is how we get some of our. But. Okay, 12,000 coins for that. 2,000 each for all the. Yeah, why not? I wonder how much farming I'm gonna have to do to unlock all that stuff. Nothing new. So let's save it. And still this ship. How about this one? The hull looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. Damn, that's a long trip. Makes me laugh thinking about Jack Sparrow, the first mm. movie. Aizen, everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, 
You sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. <sighs> We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! Oh. 